Hello everybody. I am back. I have been gone a while. I was on vacation last week and um, got back the day before yesterday. I um, actually did a video yesterday and only to find out that I forgot to turn the microphone on. So that's how I roll. I'll show you. Um, I'm going to be working on Roxy's Weekly Challenge, the um, miniature matchbook notebooks. This is what I did in my video yesterday. But I thought I would um, go ahead and make some more. Um, I like to have them in my stash. So those are the three I made yesterday. And I've already cut out my papers trying to make this a little bit shorter. Um, I've decided on these papers today. I backed this one because it is a um, just a regular scrapbook paper. And um, I cut mine, I think it was three inches. Yeah, three about three inches wide. And I'm going to leave about three quarters of an inch at the bottom to turn up. Now the one thing I... I, well, I shouldn't say I have none. I have one set of, um, what do you call them? Brads. I um, discovered yesterday that I must have used them. I think I used most of them when I was making that... Um, Oh, what do you call it? I can't even think. Uh, lap book. I used a lot of them in that. I want to ink. I could have done this in preparation, but didn't. And you know, I think I'm going to round just these edges. I did that on another one and liked the way it turned out. I just lined this with some paper. I think this this is either uh, from Rachel, one of Rachel's kits or Artie Mays. I can't remember. It's something I had gotten last year. I think Christmas time. All right, and I'm gonna do this one. I love snowmen. Snowmen are my favorites. So I'm gonna get these all ready to go. So hopefully it will be a quick process. I've given some thought as to how I want to decorate them. I love that paper. I decided to leave this paper just white. I might put a little bit of something on the inside after I put the papers in. But it's um, not a heavy cardstock, but it is a cardstock paper. Which I think really works nice for these. Especially if you're going to um, glue them in on three sides to make a tuck spot, like Rachel had suggested. I don't think I've ever seen these as a tuck spot. I could be wrong, but I thought that was a really cute idea. I'm just leaving a little bit of a space at the bottom here from my, I want to call it a lid, from my cover to this. And I already forgot I want to do this, this. Just 
These things get a little bit tricky. Closing them. I can always ink these later too. Might do maybe some stamping on the inside of them or something. I don't think you have to do a whole lot on the inside, but it would be nice to see a little bit of something. Let's see. I have my timer set a little bit quicker the first time around. I have a pumpkin bread in the oven and by the time I got everything organized, I was down to like 15 minutes or so left on it. So my oven timer is going to go off and I'm going to have to check that. It's so funny, um, a couple weeks ago, like this time of year, I always crave pumpkin bread. And my husband goes to like several different stores he tells me there's none i said bill you're looking in the wrong spot so the following week i went no pumpkin bread to be found in any store here a couple grocery stores um walmart um you name it couldn't find it nothing pumpkin could find everything else so on vacation in ohio I went to the grocery store with my daughter. Lo and behold, they had my pumpkin bread. And then later in the week, my husband had gone to the store and found pumpkin bread. He said, I bought two of them. I struck gold. <laughs> I like to add a little bit of chocolate chips to mine. Just for something. I don't know. All right. I've already, as you might be able to see, I cut some papers down to eliminate time because I found yesterday so much time was spent like cutting the papers and all you're doing is using your scraps and we're going to hook them in the bottom here. And I'm trying to decide. Hmm. You know what I might do? I think I might decorate and then put my papers in. Just because I only have these two brads. These two brads. And don't really know which one I want to use them on. I have these that look like little um, bells. But I think they would stand up too tall. So I don't think I'm going to use those. So I think I'm going to decorate these first. And on this one, I wanted to use, this might be Rachel's from last year. I thought I would bring a little bit of fabric into the mix. I just sort of want to see this underneath where I would need to. Yeah, I like that. So I think I'm going to cut my fabric. How much fabric do I want? Do I want it? I think I want it to about there. wrong on this but I think that I don't want to use this I might use a little bit of it I haven't been enjoying using fabric fix lately and it used to be the only glue I used I just love this fabric. 
I started a Christmas journal before I went on vacation. I, I'm about halfway done with the cover. And um, I use some of that fabric. I just love it. Love it, love it, love it. And I have fabric fix all over my finger. I printed these small. I had like, um, I think 16 of them to the page for something smaller. I think you can print. I'm going to have to figure out where I got that from. It's one of, one of the digital kits I bought last year. I'm pretty sure it's Rachel's. So I want that underneath. I would really like to stitch around some of this stuff. I wonder if I should have brought that up higher. I don't know why I kept that so low. Could have been up higher. I'll bring my tree up higher. Do you know what I was thinking there? My phone or my husband's? Oh, my phone's right next to me. I guess it's my husband's. Alright. So that was my idea for that one. These papers will go in there. I figured I would... Um, yeah, I wish I would have raised that up. Now that looks too low. I wonder if I, um, can I fold that? No, because that has that. Oh well, that's okay. Do I have something I can... Well, I'll mess with that in a bit. This one. This one, I thought I would um, use some fabric. I thought about maybe this and a little bit of this. to be skinnier. I think what I might do with this too, it's sort of like that, but some really cute buttons at an antique store. Oh, if I can get this off, I'm going to have to cut the bag. Oh, just in my... Oh, can you believe it? Is that the piece I was going to use? No, it's underneath there. <laughs> thought I threw away the, um... Some shell buttons. And all of these are antique buttons. I just couldn't walk away. They had more, and I was like, one or do I? Oh. Okay. Oh, 
Okay, I'm going to turn you off real quick, go check my bread, and I'll be right back. Okay, I am back, and my bread is done. I think I would like to try to use one of those... Got a needle threaded. I'm just gonna make sure I'm about middle. I'm horrible at guesstimating. Maybe I need to I'll bring this in because if anything, I can adjust it. Come on, Sheila. And what I wanted to do, do I not in this? Got to do that. I think I'm going to. Yeah, I'm going to bring this out this way. Just do that twice. Just going to add that up higher than what I did my last. Don't know why I put that down so low, but I did. Still, so probably didn't get that centered, but. I don't think it's a biggie. Make sure I got this glued down. Got flu all over. All over me. I think the other thing I found out, I might need to cut that a little bit shorter. I think that's plenty on there. Don't want to go too crazy. Did I set my timer? Yikes. Yes, I did. And I have a few things picked out over here. I like that little doggy. All of these are things from last year. This, I'm not sure where I got it. I think someone sent that to me. I think I'm going to put that there. I'm, my, I'm just trying to decide if I want anything under it. Let me just see here real quick. Hmm. 
Hmm. I think I will. This is from some, I'm sure, Tim Holtz ephemera pack or something like that. All these little things over here are, oh, I've probably been using the same ephemera for the last couple of years anyway. Sort of tired of using the same ephemera. You know, the little decorative pieces. I know you can make them look, use them differently or whatever, but I like, I like some change. I don't have much of a plan for this one, which is always a bad thing. You know what I'll do? I'm going to finish these. Oh, I so wish that was higher. I think what I could do to this one. This one just needs something. I brought it down too low. Might not be able to use this one after all that. Maybe I could use it in my... needs something. Let's just see. I don't think this is going to help. I just had a thought of something to go there. And it left my brain. It left my brain. What the heck was it? I thought, oh, I could put... Oh, I think it was a little sentiment. No, too much. I think I'm going to glue this down there, though. I just don't like that big void. Okay, got to share that now. Just take a look at these and see if there are any that I want to use these brads on. Maybe that one. This one. These other two. You know, you can... You can sew right along the bottom here. 
to hold your papers in. That's one option. You know what? I might sell that one. Maybe this one I'll just staple with my little tiny stapler. Just make sure I have things going the right way here. And then close in there. Why aren't you going in there? So there's one. This one. Do I want this staples? I think I'm going to sew both of these. I'm going to turn you off and I'm going to be right back. Okay, I am back. I stitched across both of these and I'm going to be honest with you, I really like the way the stitching looks. Um, I'm going to grab these that I did yesterday. That one I stapled. These two I used the... Um, Brads. And the one idea that Rachel had with that is once the papers are used inside, you could actually undo the brads, put more papers in if you wanted to. So that's a good part of that. This one I stapled, but I am seriously thinking like I don't mind the staples on that one. I really don't like the staples on this one. So I think I'm going to take those staples out and stitch that one as well. But there you have it. I have made six of them now. I think I am good on those for the season. I did remember to put... Oh yeah. I was like, why do I have papers over here? It's because I didn't make the fourth one. I planned on making a fourth one. Um, but anyway, that is my take on um, Roxy's Weekly Challenge. And I hope to see you all very soon. And happy crafting, everyone. Bye-bye.